Hello dear children, welcome to our new class. Today we are going to study about animals around us. Animals live on earth everywhere, on land, in water and in air. Animals that live on land are called terrestrial animals. Animals that live in water are called aquatic animals. Animals that fly in the air are called aerial animals. Animals that live on trees are called arboreal animals. The place where animals freely roam is called their habitat or sweet home. Human beings always live in groups and are dependent on each other for safety, food, water and raising their young ones. Similarly, some animals also live in groups. Dear children, why animals prefer to move or live in groups? The three main reasons are to find food and water, to protect themselves from enemies and to raise their young ones. Children, you have to observe ants in your surroundings. Each insect such as ants and bees also live in groups and build their homes in groups. Cows, buffaloes, horses, elephants, zebras and deer are some animals that live in groups. Each group is called a herd. Animals that live in a group have a leader. The leader protects the group. In an elephant herd. Ten or more female elephants and their calves live together. The oldest female in the herd leads the group and takes decisions. She also protects the other members of the herd from enemies. A group of lions is called a pride. In a pride, it is the lionesses that hunt. Lioness means female lion. A group of chimpanzees, gorillas or monkeys is called a band. Chimpanzees live in groups of 15 to 80. The mother chimpanzee and her babies form a smaller group within the band. These animals use sounds, facial expressions and gestures to communicate with one another. A group of bees is called a swarm. Bees live in a hive. A hive has a queen bee, thousands of worker bees, and a few hundred male bees called drones. The queen bee lays eggs. The worker bees look after the queen bee and the young bees. They also collect nectar from flowers. Fish live in groups called schools. Ants live in a very large group called a colony. Children, dogs and cats are usually kept as pets. Deer and squirrels are also gentle creatures but are not kept as pets. Do you know the reason? Some animals such as dogs and cats trust human beings and are friendly by nature. So, we keep them as pets in our home. Even though deer and squirrels are gentle animals, they do not trust human beings. They are shy in nature. Some wild animals such as deer, bears and wild horses are also shy by nature. They run away when they hear unusual sounds or when human beings are nearby. Some animals are friendly by nature. If you give them food, they will come forward to eat it. Pigeons, cows and dogs are generally friendly. Farm animals such as gods, hens and ducks are also friendly. They are not afraid of people. They move around the farm freely. Have you seen baby animals? How are they different from their parents? All animal babies enjoy playing. Sometimes they roll over or pull and push each other. Animal babies love to play. 
children have you heard about give and take relationship among animals how the two animals are helping each other have you seen birds sitting on the back of a cow or buffalo these birds are cattle egrets some birds ride on the back of a giraffe and oxen they are called ox peckers these two kinds of birds eat insects which live on the skin of animals in return they alert these animals with a shrill call when they see an enemy next we are going to discuss about the parts of the animal body most animals have ears they differ in shape and size from one animal to another some animals such as rabbits have ears on the top of their heads lions tigers and elephants have ears on the sides of their heads an elephant has big external ears it uses them to hear and to fan itself donkeys rabbits and foxes also have big ears although the hippopotamus is a big animal it has small ears students please look at these pictures elephant yak tiger cow rabbit here is the second set of pictures bird snakes lizard what are the difference between first group of animals and the second group of animals first group of animals have external ears we cannot see the ears of some animals these animals have internal ears birds have tiny holes on both sides of their head these are covered with feathers lizards too have small holes on their head animals such as snakes also have internal ears they can sense sounds through vibrations on the ground which is the next difference between these two sets of animals first group of animals have body hair second group of animals have scales or feathers on their body instead of body hair children how does the hair of animals help them in case of yaks their thick body hair protects them from the cold animals such as yaks musk oxen and bears live in very cold regions they have long hair on their body which keeps them warm animals such as cows and buffaloes live in warm regions they have short hair on their body in the case of leopards and tigers the different patterns on their skin helps them to hide in the grass and behind bushes while waiting for their prey all animals do not have hair on their body fish and snakes have scales generally animals that have external ears also have hair on their body animals with internal ears have scales or feathers on their body instead of body hair the animals that are friendly by nature are kept as pets or domesticated children don't disturb animals that are shy by nature